Hey, 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 you guys, Enrico here. So we're having problems now with the education system in Japan. And it has to do with this one university called Nihon University. It's a prestigious private college that is known for having law as a field of study as well as English and science and many other different majors that you can major in. There was the word American in front of this university title. It was American Nihon University. So I assumed that it like had to do with English and that the majors are mostly English and you'll probably find a lot of university students that speak English and maybe, but there is scandals after scandal, plural just problems that are happening at this university and it has to do with the lush green canvas that people around the world seem to enjoy growing and bringing into places where they're not supposed to different countries and just puffing and puffing and puffing until they fly up on a high cloud in the sky and so there is an American football league <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's American because I guess it's football. But when they first were talking about this, I thought soccer, which is hilarious to me because I think like when people think of football now, especially outside of America, they do think a lot about soccer. <laughs> but no, this is actually legit football. And there is teams... Yeah, we could say teams <laughs> because it's it's a, an occurrence that <laughs> keeps happening. There's the more recent team, the Phoenix, that is involved in this canvas scandal. And they found traces of it in the dormitories. And so it's now this big thing because Japan does not like this stuff to be anywhere near their country. There is such strict laws. It's not like it was when you could kind of get it. There was people that were kind of selling it. They become very strict. And there are many people that are fighting for these laws to be lifted because they feel like that canvas helps people. And it also helps people with medical conditions. And, you know, why can't people be high up on a cloud? <laughs> So, they found out who was using the canvas because actually one of the teammates snitched. <laughs> they went back and they said, you know, I think, you think, you know you did it. I smoked something that I believed had marijuana in it. And they went back and they told the principal, the head of the board of the school, they all somewhat knew about it. And so when it broke out in the media, please someone, I'm going to need anyone to explain and tell me why they said they knew nothing about it. And this didn't even become a big thing until like a few days later, but they take this 21 year old student into custody and the Japanese media had a field day with this. Why did they have a field day, you ask? <laughs> because this is not the first occurrence, that's why. So I said teams earlier. The first one was the rugby team. They found one of the teammates was also puff, 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 puffing, puffing so much that they blew the whole house down for the wolf. He got arrested and taken in. And you're like, okay, they're using this stuff and it's in Japan, this is bad. You would think this would be the only bad thing. No, uh-uh. We have a person on the board of the school that was running away from tax 
was involved in tax evasion. He got locked up. <laughs> because he decided he didn't want to report the money he was making from his ventures. <laughs> and then going back to football and this team that is so talented and well known, they've won 21 competitions. So we got some talented guys on this team. They were involved in a scandal because one of the team members of the Phoenix while playing in a game decided it was a good idea to bum rush and tackle another opposing teammate like a bull and knock him pretty much out of bounds. It, I'm a bit, it looked like his head snapped back. And then everybody in the Japanese society once again approached upon this topic of sports being too violent, especially football, because this is something that everybody across the board, Americans, say they talk about, you know, certain sports, should it be tackled, should it be touched, you know, what if somebody gets hurt, what if someone's head gets bashed in or somebody's neck turns around and breaks Someone falls and breaks a hip. Anything like that could happen. So there's been, once again, a discussion. Because the opposing teammate got injured. They had to pull the whole team from the competition. The teammate that did the tackle, he started singing like a canary. He went on his whole media tour. He said, the coach made me do it. We huddled up. <laughs> he told me to do it. It was a legal tackle. I don't even know why he tackled. Maybe it was because he was talented. They saw him as a threat. And, you know, he was the one scoring points. They said, let's injure him, cripple him. Ooh, that's messed up. It really is. So we got this university that's involved in all of this scandal. And <laughs> they take this guy in. <laughs> they throw the coat over his face and they're hurrying him to the car. This is hilarious to me. I'm like, why are you throwing a coat over his face? Because, you know, the media is messy. And the messy they were. They have his face all over <laughs> the TV. <laughs> I guess they say, you want to inhale and puff, 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 puff. <laughs> puff, 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 puff. On your image being all over TV. So then, you know, they, they were still picking it. Like, we're not done. Oh, no, we're not done. We, we don't believe you, university. So, you know, and finally, they broke under pressure, too. <laughs> Head of the board, principal had to come out and be like, okay, okay, okay. We, we did know that they were smoking the stuff. We, we knew it. You know, we, we were alerted about it. So, you know, she has her press conference and she apologizes. And she's like... I was hoping that he would turn himself in. And, you know, I didn't want to speak up on it because I didn't really know too much about the whole realm of sports. Well, do you know anything about sports or anything have to do with him smoking an illegal substance in a country that they, they don't allow it? Make it make sense. Tell him that we 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 about to turn you into the police. He must have been talented or something. They they must have wanted him to like sweep that under the rug. Because you knew he wasn't gonna turn himself in. And now the police found it. The teammate turned him in. He was gonna plan on still smoking that stuff and giving it to all his teammates and everyone else. They probably have themselves a good old time in that dormitory. They, they they probably was high up, floating like Peter Pan, probably with smoke all in the room. They they probably like, oh, I mean, I know they were really, they, they were doing the thing. And so, this head of the board, she took over for someone else who was problematic. They had to get rid of that person. She is a famous novelist. And... I guess just because she graduated from the university, they thought he was, she was a good fit. 
y'all might have wanted to have really thought about that because the overall just situation is so just uh, dysfunctional and problematic. <laughs> you all are <laughs> just keep having scandals. This is the second time. You all didn't learn after the first time. It's like this will be a prestigious school. Nobody's gonna want to go to the school. You might as well name it Canvas Nihon University. Because every time you look at something, and it, you know my thoughts on Canvas, <laughs> I don't do it. I know a lot of people that enjoy doing it. They love puff, puff, puffing all day long. I just don't see the appeal in it. You know, I sing. I like my brain cells. I know a lot of people that have been puffing since they were 16, 17 years old, and they look like they're going on 75. And I mean it. Don't want no parts of it. I, it, it does something to you. Like, it definitely don't think that you just gliding all through the sky on the cloud and it's not messing with your body. Now, I approve of it for medical reasons. There are some people that they use it and it really helps you focus. It really helps with some mental problems. It really helps with people who just are having overall, like, chronic pain and things like that. It's been proven. And I, and I support that. I don't do it just for leisure. It's not my thing. People, if you do it, more power to you. Just know that there are certain places that still don't approve of it. If you get caught in Japan with that, you can serve up to seven years in prison. They're not playing with you. They will charge you and they will lock you in a cell and throw away the key. You will be sitting up on the floor and eating rice soup. For all them seven years. And I know you don't want that. I mean the, the Phoenix football team. You all are handsome. Talented guys. L leave the canvas alone. You all know you're not supposed to have it. Leave the canvas alone. Continue to win your championships. I, I definitely am interested in going to see them. I, I mean I didn't know they had like legit. American football in Japan. Until I researched this. I'm like this is awesome. Like, I, I would love to go and see it. They seem like some really cool dudes, too, overall. And, like, they really can ball. So, you guys, this is a lot to think about. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. Also, my blog on these station about culture. The link is always down in the description box below. And remember, be real. Stay real. Live in the real, and I will always be back. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Put below how you feel about all this. How do you feel about the canvas? <laughs> how do you feel about Japanese American football? How do you feel about Nihon University? Let me know.